The sketch was done with willow charcoal that Bill had bought me 20 years ago. The newsprint that you can see me scrunching up is scraps of my news, my context, Biden v. Trump, 24th of November 2020. Art is context and choices, personal context, my electroforming, and choices about colour, which is fundamental and the medium to be used in this case water-based oil colour with liquid medium. The brushes and the way that you might choose to apply paint uh, you can see there various applicators including a credit card. The colours that you can see laid out there as I put the liquid medium into the uh, onto the board are titanium white, cerulean blue, cadmium red, medium hue, burnt sienna and burnt umber. These were choices that I felt uh, would be workable and the palette sufficiently limited that I wouldn't get confused about the colour. The palette is also driven by my electroformed pieces that you can see on the left hand side. These are the pieces of bark and natural findings from my garden in the main that I then electroformed in a copper sulfate solution. The electroforming obviously produced in the first place copper or uh, from the copper sulfate solution. But ultimately, uh, you can play with it. So I played, I uh, patinated, and the patina that you can see, vivid, vivid, rich, turquoise, uh, beautiful colours, patinated on top, almost like kingfisher, shimmering kingfisher wings. The application that you can see ta has taken place both with the large one-inch uh, flat brush and now I'm playing about with a filbert just to uh, start to build up the layers of texture and get the colours right. While I'm doing this all the time, it's about choices and, and what, what is this? What's the, what's the piece about? And yes, it's an integration of my context, but it's also an integration of the context of the wider world, which I, this particular uh, point was about doors opening and doors closing. I've been less focused on UK political uh, shenanigans and more focused on USA shenanigans, partly because that was a way of distancing myself uh, to get too involved with what's going on in my home world in London. Uh, is distressing frankly uh, this was meant to be a piece that would uplift me it, very much about learning pulling together all my different uh, choices imagining age imagining a door scraping off color putting color on creating textures enjoying really what was a, a process in my context. Behind many of the pieces are newspaper cuttings that you may have seen me scrunching up earlier, just so that this piece carried with it my history of what today was like. I wanted to experiment with a medium I'd come across called impasto in a tube, thick gel that you then add colour tint to, particularly for adding deep uh, textural strokes into something like this piece of work. Piece of copper, when removed, what an amazing surprise. I realised the copper hadn't been fixed and when I removed it, the sunshine and base coat came through I'm going to leave this as a contrast and a value shift with this piece of copper and I'm going to integrate it somewhere else. The idea of peeling old paint is starting to come through as I apply 
more thicker layers with a palette knife. Really, at this moment, I'm so excited. My song on texture and wraparound just gives a story that I can believe in. So from a piece that started off feeling a little bit stilted, a little bit, well, what's this about, is now livening up and it's livening up my life. And I know I'm going to enjoy all of the colour. So the sunshine is revealed and the other piece of copper will be fitted early. It starts to look like hinges, window or door. I don't mind. I'm loving it now. I'm loving the colour. I'm loving the process. I'm loving my improvement in creating art. And what a joy, what a joy to be able to create and build.